I'm sorry, people. I just got done watching one of the most boring movies I have watched in a while, and that is Red Sparrow, and I will be reviewing the 4K disc for you guys here. I'm going to be honest with you. I do like art house movies, and I like this director, Francis Lawrence. I actually like Jennifer Lawrence, the actor here, but this movie is a slog to get through, and even though the beginning is promising, it, it just goes into such minutia, and the scenes just go on for so long. The tension of this movie just gets sucked out of it. And there are some scenes, like a particular scene, where she is trying to get information and she's trying to make a copy of a floppy disk. And she this, is, this should be like an intense scene and it just drags. This movie drags for two hours and 20 minutes. God damn, I felt it. I don't know what else to say. I give it a four out of five. But getting into the 4K disc, I will just say that this is a stunning, stunning video transfer here. This was filmed in 3.5K with Ari Alexa cameras and then has a 4K digital intermediate. And even though this is lacking uh, Dolby Vision, this is truly, truly a great looking movie. A very cold looking movie. You know, this does take place in Russia and it, it just has a blue coldness to it, but it never feels like it is a flat transfer. In the matter of fact, there is a whole lot of clarity and dimension here, and I feel like that is because of the fact that the director here, Francis Lawrence, very much cares a lot about his visuals, and he's a very visual director, and it definitely shows here. The HDR definitely helps out in broadening the colors here, making this a more colorful movie than it would seem like on the surface, but still, this is a very blue hueish, um, muted down color palette that still does work here. And uh, for that, I do have to give it a 10 out of 10. This is a reference quality disc that really displays how a drama can really look striking. Now to talk about the audio quality, this was given a Dolby Atmos mix, and this Dolby Atmos mix is pretty damn good. I will say that the height speakers are relegated a lot to um, the score of the movie, but the score of the movie isn't half bad. I actually do like the score, and at times when they do have um, echoes of footsteps, it definitely comes through the height speakers. I did notice that. Surrounds are decent, and it definitely is a immersive track. I'll give it a eight out of ten. So to talk about the digital copy. This is a Movies Anywhere digital copy, so that means that you can download the 4K version on Vudu and iTunes. The rest, I believe, is uh, 1080p, but you can really download this anywhere you want. Now, getting into the special features for this disc, I will say that at least they ported over the uh, Francis Lawrence commentary that was on that Blu-ray disc to the 4K disc, and um, that is always a plus. And then you have a decent amount of uh, featurettes that are about 15 minutes long, you know, each of them. And they go into, you know, the typical uh, interviews with the actors and about their characters. You get one about the School of the Red Sparrows. That one is actually pretty cool. And you get one about the new Cold War that is, uh, you know hypothetically going on in this movie, and you definitely have a decent amount of special features on this disc, and I will say that I will give this a uh, 7 out of 10. This is something that is cool. To get into my last looks and my final thoughts of Red Sparrow, this is a movie that wants you to think that it is an intense thriller that really is not that intense. 
I feel like they could have shaved a half an hour out of this movie. This thing drags. And any tension that you might have about any of the scenarios in this movie is just stripped by how long these scenes just linger on and on and on. I feel like this is a very indulgent movie. And when you add up all my scores, I came up with a 29 out of 40. Not the greatest movie, but if you like this movie, th there is definitely something to be said about the uh, video and audio transfer in the amount of special features here. So I do have to get back into the classic films that came out this month, and um, that will be Braveheart and Die Hard. I cannot wait to talk to you about those films, and if you're excited to hear me talk to you about them, comment below and let me know about some things that I can review next month for you guys and as always thank you for watching my videos you guys are awesome more awesome than this movie and i will see all of you next time